right, so we're going to show you a, a version of chopsticks. Maybe you guys have played before. Um, there's so many different ways to play it, but the way that we're going to coat it is like this. So basically, you're going to both have um, two hands, obviously, and each one is going to have start with one finger up. Now watch what happens when I, I choose a hand I want to attack with, and I choose a hand I want to attack, and when I do that, if I have one, it becomes two. Now watch what happens when he attacks me with that two hand. Choose either one, so that's the one. Now he, I have to add two to that. Now I'm going to take this three, and I'm going to attack uh, this hand. So that should go to four then, right, because I hit it with three. So now he plays. Boom. Okay. So two plus three is five, so this hand is eliminated, right? And I'm going to eliminate his hand. Boom. Comes at me. So now I have three. I come at him. He's at five and done, right? Nice. <laughs> nice death effect. <laughs> All right. See you later. Thanks. That's all I need you for. <laughs> Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to code that up, and this is basically the, the, out, um, the outline of the game right here. Right. So I need the starting, <clears throat> I need basically the, the first thing, I need the starting hand list. Um, I'm going to need to display that to the user. Um, I'm going to need to uh, figure out uh, who do I attack and who, what hand am I going to be attacking with. Uh, I'll probably need to update the hand list behind the scenes. Um, I'll need to check, did the hand get eliminated? I'll need to check to see if a player lost. Um, and then I'm going to ultimately need to uh, send a message uh, congratulating the winner um, or disparaging the loser. Uh, okay, so let's get going on this. The first thing I kind of want to talk about is uh, our lists, right? That's why this is um, in this packet. It has to do with uh, lists. So if I, I'm going to start off with this thing called hand list. And the way I make a list f is like this. Okay. That's going to be my first line of code in this. Um, and basically, this is player one right here and here. So that's player one, and these two hands are player two. So really, all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to find a way to print this off so it looks like, um, so it basically looks like this, like boom, 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 right? Where this is hand zero, this is hand one, this is hand two, and this is hand three. And so what's going to happen is I'm going to figure out how to update this list. And so if this becomes a two, this one will have two up there. And if this becomes a three, then now this will print like that. Oh, sorry, a three like that. Um, so I just need to get a list and I need to update that list. That's really the key key thing about it. Now you'll notice that I started counting at hand at the uh, hand zero, hand one, hand two, hand three. You probably would have thought probably do it'd be better to do hand one, hand two, hand three, hand four. Just because we start counting um, a lot of things in Python at zero, I think this is going to be an easier way to do it to start off um, to have hand zero. Um, remember, this is the zero position of the list. Uh, this is the first, the second, and the third. Well, now those things line up perfectly, right? Um, these four hand, hand positions. Okay. Um, let's get coding. So let's take a look here. Like I said, I'm going to start off um, with a hand list here. So hand list is going to begin, and it's just going to be... Right, because both of us started off with um, both of our hands only having one. Um, now, I need to determine what things I want to have in a loop and what things I don't want to have in a loop. Um, I only need to set uh, do the starting hand list um, one time, and then I'm done creating a hand list. So I don't need to loop that over and over again. Um, but printing the hand list so the user can see it, we want to do that over and over again. So all of this. That's where my loop's going to begin. Now, I don't know how long this game is going to take, so it's a perfect candidate for a while true. Um, and I've already kind of got in my mind how I'm going to break that thing. Uh, if a player uh, loses, that's where I'm going to want to break it. Displaying a message to the winner, that's not something that I want to do over and over and over again. So it's not a candidate for being in the loop. So I'm just going to de-dent it, right? So if I unindent it, basically, um, now it's, it's going to be something I'm going to do outside the loop. Okay, so 
On to challenge number two, I need to print the hand list. Now, what I basically want to do is I want to basically say something like this. Um, hand, um, hand something or other, and then I'm going to want it to look like this, like X, 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 if it has like three of them, right? So how am I going to do that? Uh, let's start with a four, four loop, right? So four. Um, every so for every number in hand list so basically what this is going to do is it's going to go through and it's going to do it for this one then this one then this one then this one for four times so every time I go through the hand list what do I want to have happen I want to print I want to print this message hand now I'm going to come back to that. How am I going to have it start off at hand zero, then hand one, then hand two? I'm going to have to conquer that one, um, but all in good time. Uh, and then I want to do comma, and I basically want to print a capital X, and I want to print that a certain amount of times. Okay, so let's start with this first one. How am I going to know which hand I'm on? Um, I start, want to first start with hand zero, and then every time I go through the loop, next I want it to be one, two, three. So I can use a counter for that. So I can say count equals zero and uh, count equals count plus one. So I can just say hand at count position. So the first time through, what's going to go in there? Well, it's going to start at zero and then it's going to add one. That'll be one and that's going to go back to the start of the loop. Remember, now I'm inside of a loop here, so it's not going to keep resetting count back to zero. Um, it's going to start with zero and do it to be zero, and then it's going to be one, and then it's going to be two, and then it's going to be three, and then I'm going to be done with it. Now, how many times do I want this thing to print off this X message? Because now this X thing is going to be right next to, um, here, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like um, right now, actually. See how it's, I guess I should, um, Anyway, see how it's kind of looking like that? It's running to hand 0, 1, 2, um, and 3. Hopefully you can see that. And it's putting an X there. The only question is how many X's do I want? Um, do I want? Well, I basically want it at, if this is a 1, I want it to print 1X. But if this is a 4, I want it to print 4X's in that position. So it's basically saying for every number in hand list, so first number is going to be 1, then number is going to be 4, then number is going to be 1, so it's going to take each one of these things. So I could print X number amount of times. Um, okay, so let's take a look at that. So you see that one that has a four in it? Well, it's causing every single time that it's hitting this one. Now, the reason why it's repeating forever is because I'm in a while true loop that's not, it's not breaking, right? Um, wherever I see that four, it's printing out four amount of times. Okay. We'll be able to see that a little bit more clear once I add step three. I want to say, where do I want to attack in which hand? Um, so uh, let's do attack. Attack hand is going to be equal the integer input of what? Attack. Yeah, I mean, I almost spelled everything right there. Okay. And... Victim hand. What hand would, uh, what hand will you attack with, and what hand will you, will you attack? Okay, forgot an extra parenthesis out there. So now when I run, uh, run it, it says what hand will you attack with? One, and what hand will you attack? Two. Now the board's not really updating um, right now, and that's kind of a bummer. Uh, I need to somehow use, if I have an attack hand one and victim hand of two, how am I gonna um, add those together, right? So let's go back to the drawing board and 
kind of think through that move right there because that's going to be kind of at the crux of, of what's going to make, make us successful here and what's going to make us unsuccessful. So to begin with, let's say that the board is one, two, three, one, right? What that would look like is um, hand zero is x, hand one is equal to xx, hand two is equal to xxx, x, x, and hand the third hand is only here. So basically player one is in a pretty good spot, and, and player two is not doing bad, it's just got one hand with, um, with three of them. Okay, so what I want to do is if this person chooses to basically attack with um, the second hand and it's going to attack um, it's going to attack zero right how am I going to update that list so basically what I want to do if I'm attacking with at position two that's this one right here right and I'm going to uh, attack position zero. So I basically want hand at position zero to now be four, right? Ideally, that's what I want. So I need to add this number and this number together. So these two numbers together are going to become uh, what that new, new one should be. So the way that I code that up is in this one specific uh, case, I'm going to say um, hand list at position zero is now going to be whatever it was before. Whoa, boy, I'm getting sloppy, I'm getting sloppy. Well, I never was great at uh, handwriting anyway. So it, it's going to be whatever it was before, but now I want to add hand list at position two, right? So really, this, is, this number right here is really just the hand that's being attack, um, attacked, and this is the attacking hand, right? And so if I can, sorry, I'm a little bit, um, a little bit off the screen there, but there we go. Um, so if I can basically run the code like that, um, it should work out, work out pretty good for me, okay? All right, so I need to update the hand list. So I need hand list at position whatever hand is being attacked to now be equal to hand list at attack hand plus hand list of, oh, sorry. Victim hand. My apologies. Okay. So now I have um, whatever. Yeah, let's let's run this thing, and I'm going to change this back to one here. And I'm also going to print off the hand list each time, so we can see the the actual numbers. So what hand will you attack with? If I attack with zero and I'm going to attack hand two. You see how that added it? Well, that's because you can see in this line right here, that's my, um, that's hand list that's basically running the entire game. Uh, you can see that that one became one more. If I do it again, that should turn into a three. Now, what's cool about this is it's a general form, so um, I'm going to attack with hand two and I'm gonna turn it back on hand zero. Um, and it should add three to it, making it four. So now we're at a pretty good spot. And you can see really all we're doing there is just up, updating um, our, uh, our list. And we're using our list to, uh, to display kind of a game board. Uh, one thing that's just kind of bummed me out a little bit is after we print the board, I'm just going to print um, nothing so that it has a little bit of, like it looks a little more clear there. And after I attack, um, I'm just going to print off a blank thing as well, just so it makes it look a little, uh, little nicer. Okay, 
So now what I want to do is I want to figure out, did a hand just get eliminated? So we're going to practice some of those, um, those if statements. So let's check, check it out. So did a hand just get eliminated? So basically I want to say if um, there's really only one hand that I need to check to see if it's eliminated, it's hand list at position victim hand. Now if that victim hand is greater than or equal to five, um, I want to print um, bummer. That means that hand is dead. So I don't have to run this if hand, hand list at position zero or hand list at position one or hand list all of those ones. Um, I just need really need to check the, the hand that just got attacked. Um, so if I run that thing, what hand will you attack with? One, and I'll attack uh, two. And one, and two. And one, and two. And one, and two. So bummer, that means that that hand's dead. So now it's still displaying that it has five. What I could do then is I could do, I could change hand list at position victim hand. Um, and now have that be equal to zero. So now, when that hand gets eliminated, I want to attack with one to two. Now when I kill it, it ceases to exist. Okay, so now that I'm confident with how that works, I want to just see if a player loses. So this one gets a little bit more tricky. So if hand list at position zero is equal to zero, And hand list at position one is equal to zero. What just happened? See, I, I just reset those both to zero. The only way they get to zero is if they got they got dead. So that's going to be a break. Um, same thing. If hand list at position two. And three, that's position two and three, these last two numbers right here, and zero, one are the first two ones. Um, that's also going to end my game. So now I go outside my loop, because now if I, if I do indeed uh, break that, now I do, uh, need to display a, uh, a message to the winner. And I could do it in there too, but I just wanted to show you... Uh, an example where we have a loop and then something at the end of it um, where we can practice with that dedending thing. So I don't need the break anymore because out here I'm outside my loop. All of this up here is my loop. I just broke it. Now I'm dedented. I'm right here. Um, who wins if, if position zero and position one um, are gone? Player two. So I'd say something like player two um, one, I guess player one is garbage, <laughs> garbage. And we can say the same thing um, if this works down here. Only one indent there, player one one. I guess player two is garbage. All right, let's roll. So what hand do you want to attack with? Um, I want to attack with hand zero. Obviously, there's no position 12. No position 12 in my hand list means it breaks. So I'm going to do that and that. And they're going to do this and that. And they're going to do this and that to kill it. OK, so hand three, hand three is dead. So when they go back, they're going to go hand two and hit you with that. And hand one is now going to finish off hand two. So when they click two like this, it should be game over because it will add four to one, which would be five. Bummer, that hand's dead. Player 1-1, one, one. player 2 is garbage. Okay.